chronic liver disease are one of the leading cause of major health problems worldwide. Very often, skin manifestations are the first sign of liver disease. Few skin lesions are typically seen in liver disease, but some skin changes are general and can be seen in many other diseases. So let's discuss the signs one by one. Yellowish discoloration of skin is a typical finding of liver disease. It is evident when the serum level of bilirubin exceeds 2.5 or 3 mg per dl. The color of the skin varies from yellow to brown, depending on the amount of bilirubin in your blood. The white portion of the eyes also turns yellow. This skin changes is due to excess accumulation of bilirubin under the skin. Next important skin manifestation is spider angioma. You may see web-like clusters of blood vessels under your skin which is called spider angioma or spider telangiectasia. The lesion contains a central red spot and a reddish extension which radiate outward like a spider's web. They may appear as multiple or solitary lesions and it is painless. But remember, it can be seen in many other conditions like thyrotoxicosis, rheumatoid arthritis and pregnancy. However, multiple spider angiomas are characteristic of chronic liver disease with a specificity of 95%. Palmar erythema, also called liver palms, is a condition where your palms, dorsum of hands, fingertips and nail bed becomes red. Similar changes can also be seen over soles. This erythema or redness blanches on the pressure and flushes synchronously with pulse rate. You may also experience throbbing and tingling sensation. Next important skin sign is paper money skin. Patient with cirrhosis have many randomly scattered thin superficial capillaries over the upper trunk in association with spider angiomas. This resembles the silk thread in American dollar bills and hence is the name dollar paper markings or paper money skin. Sometimes you may notice painless swollen veins around your belly button. It is commonly seen in liver cirrhosis. Scarring in liver cirrhosis makes it harder for the blood to flow through the veins of your liver, which leads to backup of blood in your portal vein. The increased blood in your portal vein then leads to portal hypertension. With nowhere else to go, some of the blood tries to flow through the nearby veins around the belly button called the periumbilical veins, which can be seen through the skin. Next important thing is easy bruising or bleeding. The liver cells are involved in synthesis of most of blood coagulation factors such as fibrinogen, prothrombin, factor 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12 as well as protein C and protein S. Those factors help in blood clotting. In chronic liver disease, there is decreased production of coagulation factors. As a result, you can experience easy bruising or bleeding. The bleeding can occur from your nose or gingiva. You may see tiny red spots on your skin. But again, there are many other causes which can cause bleeding from your nose and gum. Sometimes you may notice small irregular shaped hypopigmented patches over arms and legs. These are considered to be due to venastasis and are known as beer spot. Their characteristic feature is that they disappear when pressure is applied or when the affected limb is raised from the dependent position. Next is Janthalisma. Janthalisma is a harmless yellow growth that appears on or by the corners of your eyelids next to your nose. It is due to cholesterol deposition under your skin. Having janthalisma could be a sign of liver disease, but it is associated with other conditions such as diabetes, hyperlipidemia and thyroid problems. Nail clubbing is also an important manifestation of chronic liver disease or cirrhosis. Nail clubbing occurs when the tips of the fingers enlarge and the nails curved around the fingertips. It is also seen in many other conditions like lung disease, 
heart disease and inflammatory bowel disease. Other important sign is teres nails, in which most of the nails appear white except for a narrow pink band at the tip. It can be a sign of serious underlying conditions such as liver disease, congestive heart failure, kidney failure or diabetes. Now one more thing I would like to mention here is liver spots or age spots. Sometimes you may find small, flat, dark areas on the skin. They are vary in size and usually appear on areas exposed to the sun such as face, hands, shoulders and arms. Previously it was believed to caused by liver problems. And that's why the name liver spots. But they are physiologically unrelated to the liver. Age spots or liver spots are actually caused by overactive pigment cells. Ultraviolet light speeds up the production of melanin and it is common over the age of 50. Many people are currently suffering from fatty liver disease. We have already made detailed videos on that topic. Click the i button on the upper right corner of your screen to watch the video. So that's all for today. Hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.